Oh yeah, I got it. I got it! Going insane on Cookie Clicker? Need something to satisfy your cravings for the golden cookie? Then you must be experiencing the Cookie Conundrum. The podcast about all things Cookie Clicker. Um, yes? Hello? Cookies! Hello and welcome back to the Cookie Conundrum. This is JBJ Blaze. And we are on episode 7, recorded on July 19th, 2014, and also during the time slot that uh, Blaze on Nation episode 16 was intended to be aired, but unfortunately I have not found sign of thing yet. But no blame or anything intended. It's alright. Anyway... So, yeah, and I would have cookies to crunch for the next segment, but I got hungry and ate them already. So, in the meantime, let's get to it. And yeah, I don't think I left anything out. So, yeah, let's get to it. We keep crunching cookies all day long. I like that. Alright, so for those who don't know, this is basically the past week or whatever. And for me, the past months or whatever. And basically, I've graduated. And I'm jobless right now, other than I am getting to have the opportunity to work with some people on um, Minecraft songs and whatnot. Doing up some bumpers for this Smite podcast by Octane Pro. And also, what else? I've been recently promoted to moderator in Opium Posters, so I... I, I'm... I I was pretty excited to get that opportunity, because they are pretty big as they are. And, yeah. And... Other than still being haunted by my night of prom and the prom party, which I've talked... If you need any details on this stuff, go check out Blaze on Nation, because I've actually done more for Blaze on Nation than the cookie conundrum, as I have personally and unfortunately lost just a bit of interest in Cookie Clicker, and I haven't played it as often as I should. And this was also originally recorded on the 11th, which I, whoops, which I believe was a Sunday. E, no, it was Friday, so last Friday, except for the audio kept on cutting out, and it sounded just but ugly. And I could not understand myself. But anyways, on with the news, I think. And again, I'd be crunching a cookie, but I got hungry on my Oreo, so my apologies. Whoops, it didn't play properly. Alright, so we're already here to updates. Um... You wouldn't have noticed the transition, but I just figured out why barely anything shows up on here, which is because I gotta have my browser set to the 1280 by 720 um, resolution to get the whole um, thing in the screen. But anyways, so the only thing we really have in news, which if this episode was recorded yesterday um the update would have been exactly two months ago better than better late than easter may 18th 2014 in which we now have bunnies and eggs he or teal inputs somehow prompts now have keyboard sh- shortcuts like system prompts would Although I have not tried that out yet. As you can see over here, with the next feature, 
You can now name your bakery, which as you can see with mine, it's the Cookie Conundrums Bakery, named it after the podcast. Eh. Eh -eh. And then fast notes option to make all notifications close faster, and a new button to close all of them. And as you did just seen at the bottom here, there was a notification because I hit some button that made my cookies gather faster or it gave me more cookies. I, I forget. And then dungeon, the dungeon beta is now available at slash beta dungeon. So that would be ortil da, dot dash net dot org slash cookie clicker all one word slash beta dungeons and actually just to show you the notification and only video version peoples will know what i'm talking about but there's a, not a notification for you is what it looks like and again that way it better corresponds with what i'm doing and that is unfortunately all of that, but we do have stuff in the generator. Make your wish. This is the generator. Alright, so in the generator, I have some things pulled from the dash net forms, and I think I just about missed the contract. There we go. And there's another notification. Even though you likely won't see it because I'll probably edit it out because I'm a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so if it'll let me load them up, hopefully, hopefully, come on now, now you want to load. I swear I gotta edit so much out of these podcasts because there's so much stuff that has to load first before you actually see it. Okay. So this one, I can definitely agree with, and these will be in the show notes. Um, some guy on the nets, and in between the words are underscores and his username. He wants wrinklers to rotate around the big cookie. So by that, he means the one where there's all the cursors and everything. So... A purely visual thing, having them rotate around the giant cookie in the same direction and speed that the cursors do. So, yeah, because I think how they have it now is the wrinklers, if you can see my mouse, they just go in and out and in and out, as wrong as that sounds for dirty minds. But I, I think his idea could hopefully work so basically it would go along the flow of the cursor so if I had a ding there it gets applause <laughs> I don't have the ding like the dead workers do and then there was this other one that was also interesting if it'll load up as well All right, so, oh, and, yeah, I thought someone favorited a tweet about the podcast, but nope, it's Black Ice on Steam. Anyway, so, Oscar V.D. Hoofty, sorry if I, actually, no, I don't think I butchered that. Anyway, he wants, well, his idea is, Make late game upgrades for low tier buildings. Multiply production by more than two. I feel like there's some missed grammar in there. And there's, I think, even more missed grammar. I think that buildings like farms and factories would be better if they had stronger upgrades later on. So, for example, getting 100 gives you an upgrade that quadruples efficiency and 200 an upgrade that octuples it. I'm not sure if that is an actual word. It looks like it's a real word, but just seems odd. Maybe octuples it? I don't know. Maybe it does sound right. Also, add more upgrades. Having quadrupling upgrade 
Oh, a quadrupling upgrade. Sorry, I, uh, I tried to frame you for bad grammar there. Every two buildings from 100 to 200 would make them a lot stronger. So, what he is getting at here, for those who, like me, almost got lost for a second there. Basically, the more buildings you get, they... But basically, exponential growth, I think, is what he's getting at. But, another interesting one. And as always, my only real idea is getting multiplayer added to the game or or some some sort of multiplayer or whether it be getting an account for cloud saves actually you know what cloud saves i love it we should that's what should be added is cloud saves or or with all the codes you have to have for cuz i i think you have to have codes yeah, export save gives you a save code. So, w I, I think something like cloud saves would be pretty neat. And maybe even prevent cheaters from <laughs> just, I don't know. Then again, I'm not the, I, I don't think that's even a big deal that there are cheaters, so, but... Other than that and some multiplayer aspects, that's what I have for ideas. And lastly, well at least I think it's last. Is it last? Could it be last? It is last. And this one I don't have a legitimate, well not legitimate, but more interesting bumper for. From around the Cockyville. Alright, so in this segment... <laughs> oh. oh, man. Alright, so in this segment, I pick out basically any community made up stuff. And I just found out that I missed something in the news, but I will get to it. So anyways, we have How to Win at Cookie Clicker by Razor, which... In that video, I'm not sure if I would be allowed to show a sneak peek of it. But um, in that video, basically the guy technically cheats, but uses his Razor Mouse. Some um, exclusive setting to um, quote-unquote cheat. So, it, it's pretty cool. Check it out. And then Annoying Orange, let's play Cookie Clickers. Now this is the mobile ripoff. It's not the legitimate Cookie Clicker. But it is a Cookie Clicker. And it's Annoying Orange. It was funny. Because he's, he's... He's a babbling idiot. We all have to admit that the Annoying Orange is a babbling annoying but in this one he goes insane on the game but anyway without giving too many more possible potential spoilers let's get to this last news item and for the sake of it maybe 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 Alright, now that we're back into the news, Ortiel tweeted out, The year is 2018. 90% of video games now consist entirely of CSS and JavaScript. Sony and Nintendo no longer sell consoles, but web browsers. And... This isn't really news, but I did find it a bit of a thought provoker. So basically all, well nearly all video games are now web based and Sony and Nintendo have gone even 
further lower than Sega. Because Sega used to sell consoles. and it, But that was very old days. And now they only make games. But but web browser stuff, that, that one could consider that another step further. <laughs> no offense, RuneScape or Dead Frontier Online. Or any other game. But I feel like that is the next step down. But... In a way, I, I, I disagree. Well, unless... Unless, of course, there is innovation in browsers to make them more powerful, but... Honestly... I don't really necessarily see it happening. And if it did, I, I think it would just suck. And that the games would run poorly and also bad graphics too. But that's about it for that. And my usual shout outs, I will just leave it to. There will be referral links in the show notes of services um, Backblaze, there is Amazon, there's another, but my jerk of a document doesn't want to let me do anything with it, and I don't know why, why, okay, so, no, it's reloading, why, why aren't you letting me? Screw it. If you want to be that much a uh, D-bag, I'm going to use the power of my phone. Alright, and I will be... Oh, finally! Okay, if you would like to help out the show, because at a point I did feel like I couldn't do it all myself, and it would be nice to um, have a little bit more help with making this show more successful. Other than just Clicky Clicker updating for once and every so often. Go to bit.ly slash tcc helper, all one word, and that'll bring you to the Google form that you can fill out and Hopefully, I can bring you on, and yeah, it'll be fun. To end this off, there are referral links, and then one shout-out link in the show notes. One for the shout-out is FF Split, which is streaming software, and then there is an Amazon link, which supports the show, as well as Engine, Media Temple, and Backblaze. And if you use their services, you'll be supporting the show and other projects I do in the process. And then bit.ly slash dash radio is my internet Minecraft music radio. If you could please check that out, that would mean a lot. That would mean a lot. And then you can listen to the podcast probably soon on Stitcher, but for now it's just on YouTube. You can follow the show on Twitter, at JBJBlaze, that's me. Um, the show run, runs live on Twitch, at twitch.tv slash JBJBlaze. And I am running a Patreon, which you can support by going to patreon.com slash JBJBlaze. It's basically like a continuous Kickstarter, and if you donate to that, um, you can do it per month or whatever you want, and yeah, pretty much per month, and it'll go to financially support my projects, and yeah, I'll extremely appreciate it, I really will. So... I thank all who tune in to this, whatever version of the episode it be, and 
Have a good night, folks, and everybody. Bye-bye!